Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fish and Grills. So we got a big old Joe we're taking out of the freezer. We're gonna cook him up, fry crispy. Stay tuned. for this episode of This is a munu fish, or a double barred goatfish, also known as Joe Lewis. It's a part of the goatfish family, and there are about 86 known species spread over six different classes of fish. The name Joe Lewis came from a popular American boxer because its lips resemble that of Joe Lewis. The munu is a native fish to the Hawaiian Islands and can also be found off the shores of Australia and Papua New Guinea. You'll find them swimming alone or with a small herd and can usually be found in reef structures and in caves, feeding on mainly crab, shrimp, and worms that can grow up to 14 inches. The Hawaii state record coming in at 3.7 pounds caught off the shores of Molokai in 2005. This fish is a high class reef fish and used to be only reserved for the Hawaiian staff. This fish is very soft, flaky, and has delicious meat, and the flavor is almost comparable to crab or shrimp. Best prepared fried crispy topped with your favorite sauce, or steamed topped with your favorite ingredients. This is gonna be delicious. So this is the process called scoring. In culinary terms, to score means to cut slits in the surface of a piece of food. 
The scoring has several purposes. It can be used decoratively or used as a tenderizing technique. It also allows the fish to cook evenly. We got fire! Or in this case, to add absorption of flavor with whatever you season it with. And also to prevent it from curling up due to high skin tension. Rosemary is also a nice touch. Just grab a little bit, throw it in the oil, adds a very subtle herbalicious flavor and it just smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now that all the fish is cooked, this is our culture jane paste mixed with vinegar, sugar, and shoyu. So we're gonna caramelize it in oil that just was cooked in. Okay, once it's all caramelized, then dump it on the fish. Pop it in, and then, whew. All right, we're back, and here's our final product. Okay, we have one scoop rice, because you know, we gotta eat scoop rice and everything. We have side pickled ovo with onion tomatoes, and we have our crispy fried Molu, aka Joe Lewis, Dunbar Go Fish, topped with caramelized koji jang with green onions. Very, very delicious. Yum, yum. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you had fun because we, we sure did. And Whatever. thanks for tuning in in this next episode of Fish, Fish and Grills. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. <laughs>